But this is my favorite part of this product, and that's the words water-based. I can have this, these boards beautifully stained and done in, in not too long time. What I mean by that is I can put a coat on tonight, tomorrow morning I put another coat, and later in the day I'm top coating it. This is a purdy brush. I don't use this for chalk paint at all, usually only for staining or gel staining, voodoo gel staining kind of stuff. It's just a really nice brush. I also remodeled the entire house and, but, and all the trim, everything that was hand painted baseboards was in this one brush. There's, you, you, it's a testament that if you buy a good quality brush, it should last you quite a long time. So I'm gonna demonstrate this today. All right, so the other side is gonna be the under, underneath and I'm not doing anything with that. So for this, what you need to determine, usually with this gel stain, this um, espresso stain, and you can see this stain on my Amazon page, is you need to determine if you want this like totally blacked out, like so dark you can't even see the wood stain, or do you wanna be able to see wood grain? And I say stain, wood grain. So normally I like to see the wood grain, but if you did two coats of this, you will not see any, any wood grain. And some people like that. They wanna hide all the flaws and the problems it has, but, so you don't wanna to get too far. So that's why you'll have to have a rag handy and just wipe it off. I do kind of recommend that you wear a glove if you wanna not get stained in your fingertips or mess up your beautiful nails, but look how lovely that is. Not every wood is going to stain the same. You know, it's just gonna come down to what kind of wood it is, what kind of grain. So sometimes it looks prettier than others and usually it just comes down to what kind of wood you're working with. This, I believe, if I'm looking at it correctly, it's not a plywood, and I'm pretty sure based on the age that you should expect that older wood in an antique, it's gonna be a nicer quality wood, not a plywood, not half particle board. So this, this right here, just wipe off and you can come back. So this is the decision you gotta make is, is that enough or do you want another coat? If you could technically not wipe it off, but I usually wipe it off, but not always. If I want it really dark, I'm not gonna wipe it off, but the instructions talk about wiping it off. Um, but if I come over with another coat, it's gonna get darker but you probably still would see a little bit of wood grain. This is what I'm talking about. You see my fingers are already getting stained on there because I'm touching the part of the rag. That... So this is the front. I probably have too much stain on my brush, but that's okay. I'm gonna wipe it off, but I don't want them to see the front not stained. So I sanded the, the side that, that the viewer would see when they open up the side cabinets. So I could have done this on the top, but I re on the top of my buffet, but I really did want, I was aiming for a black finish because I wanted to complement the gray that I used. But inside the cabinet, it's not as critical. Okay, wipe the sides a little bit. So tomorrow, I'll inspect it one last time, but this is where I would say, it, you ask yourself, one more coat or is it ready for top coat? 
and I kind of like the look of that. I like seeing the wood. I don't even mind. There's parts of it that has some staining from previous years. I want, I really do want all that to be there. So let's do this last piece. And I did, the tops look like this, lacquered. But I sanded all that off, because I didn't want that. But you can see that there's all kinds of circle rings from bottles and jars being on here. And I'm okay that I'm not trying to wipe out the age of the piece. But if you're trying to hide all that, you're probably gonna need two coats of this. You see how crazy dark beautiful that is? I just, I don't want that. General Finishes does have several colors and they have a good product line. I'm not any kind of ambassador or anything with them. I just, I like this product and um, just keep in mind that there is a difference between water-based and oil-based stains. So you just need to think about that a little bit. So here I'm just wiping off the excess. I'm not trying to scrub it, but go in the wood grain. You can see all of the previous like the rings. I'm still okay with that. I, pr I could probably go th the whole do the whole top, this whole board without wiping it off, but it'll start drying on you. And I don't want that to happen. So that's why I usually break it up into sections. And the, the instructions talk about that, like doing small sections at a time. It is water-based, so I probably could go back to even their first board and wipe things off if I wanted to. Like. I think it says if you want to reactivate it, just go over it with another coat. I don't know why I would ever do that. All right, so this is looking great. So you can see I'm going over the original section just to kind of blend it in. All right, I can already tell that I have one area that's being a little unruly. But that's okay. So I just, I think that's where I'm going to say I probably need another coat. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you see right here, that lighter area probably had something happening to it, like a, um, a product. So this is where I might just do a quick, just let's see if that helps it. But more than likely, I'm going to need another coat. And that helped a little bit, give it a little bit of a darker tone in that one spot. Kind of helped get rid of it a little bit. So when it dries, it's gonna dry very matte and dull, but that's where my top coat is going to come in and get this back where it needs to be. So my brush is water-based. I'm just gonna put in my little, I always have like a water bucket for my lies, so I'll put it in there. And it's not too hard to get rid of the stain off your fingers if you want to do it quickly. It's just a little wet rag. Or soap and water in the sink does a really good job. It's not too bad. That's the end of the show. Make sure you subscribe and ring the bell before you go. Bye.